So today we're going to take a look at a couple of examples on how to import select content into Canvas. And by select content, I mean as opposed to importing the entire export from either Blackboard or Canvas into a, another Canvas shell, how you can go in and just pick certain content or assignment items that you want to import into a new Canvas shell. Now there are a couple of reasons why I might want to either export only a portion of a course or import only a portion of a course. So say for example I had a series of quizzes in a Blackboard shell that I wanted to bring into my Canvas shell. So I would go down here to Packages and Utilities once I'm in my Blackboard course and one of the options is going to be Export or Archive the course and then from there I can create an export package. Now in the case of that export package I always recommend that for both course files inside and outside of the default directory that you select the second link where it actually includes a copy of the file but when I scroll down here instead of doing all or all of the content areas what I'm going to do is scroll specifically down to my test surveys and polls because these are going to have essentially the quizzes that I'm looking for. So in this case when I'm exporting from Blackboard I can actually just export the individual piece that I want. So once I've cl clicked on this here now I can go over and click on submit and it will create a new export package for me and I can just click refresh here a couple of times and eventually it should show up on the very bottom. So as you can see I just clicked again and here is this new file as of today and I'm going to click on it and download that to my computer. So now that it's downloaded as a zip file the next thing I want to do is go to a course in Canvas that I want to import that material. So here's just a demo course that I've created with just the standard template. Uh, this particular template or blueprint is for the Graduate School of Education. And you notice I haven't done anything with it yet, but um, I've just essentially created it for demonstration purposes. And now I'm going to click on the settings option and I'm going to import my course content and then I am going to select a Blackboard 6789 export file and let me go pick that file here now so I just downloaded it to my download directory and there it is right there so I'm gonna click OK and you'll notice I get a couple of options here now I can select question banks that I would like to submit the questions to or what I want the default question bank to be so I'm going to leave that just blank right now but the other option I have here is content I can select all the content or I can just select specific content and what I want you to do here is if you're only bringing in certain things instead of having to import all of it and then delete it what you can do is click select specific content here and then what you want to do next is click on import and you'll see it'll think here for a minute and now it starts to run and as it's running this blue line here will go across and you see that was awful quick and now I get this option here waiting for selection and I can select the content so I can go in here and you can see that there are 18 quizzes here are the 18 quizzes there are also 18 question banks and here are the 18 question banks and then there are 14 files that are also associated with those and since I don't know which files are associated with which quizzes it's always a good idea to select all of the files uh, you can always go in and delete those afterwards but if I wanted for example just to get the um, lung and thorax exam along with the history taking exam and the patient interviewing quiz I can just select those three quizzes and then under the question banks I'm going to assume that I want the same three question banks so I can pick the lung and thorax quiz question bank the history taking 
quiz question bank and the patient interviewing quiz question bank. And now by selecting that content, it will now run again and only bring in those particular items that I selected. And as you can see, they are completed there now. So when I go out and look at my quizzes, here are the three quizzes that are available to me. So it just brought in those specific items that I was looking for. Now another way that you might want to bring in only selected content is if you know that you have some specific material that you've used in a Canvas course in the past um, and you just want to bring in that. Say there's a lecture or two that you wanted or some videos that you wanted to bring in that you've already incorporated into your course. So if it's in Canvas, what you want to do is click on the settings option and then you want to go over here on the right hand side to export course content. So, and it asks me if I want to do the course or just the quizzes. So for this purpose I'm going to say the course and I'm going to click on create export. And you can see here it's going to take a few minutes to go and do this for me. And there it has just completed and you can see I've got a new export here. So I'm going to click on my new export and it's going to download to my computer and this may take a couple of minutes here by the looks of it six. So I'm just going to pause the video and pick it up again once we have completed the download. So now that my export has downloaded I can go back into my demo course again and I should note that one of the limitations that Canvas has compared to Blackboard is in the case of Canvas I can only download just the complete course or just all of the quizzes. Unlike Blackboard I can't go in and download just discrete portions of the course. Uh, but I can still go into my settings here and then over on the right hand side I can click on import and I can go and select a Canvas course export package and I can choose my file and I can check on sp select specific content so this will allow me to just pick out the pieces that I want so when I click import it starts thinking here for a bit and I'm just still waiting to bring this into the course and as you can see it's starting to bring it in here now and as it brings it in this blue bar here will eventually come right to the end so while that's happening I'm just going to pause the recording okay now that it has brought it in you can see it's waiting for selection and I can go in and select content now like the import that I brought in from Blackboard, I get all of this discrete stuff here so I can bring in the specific course settings that I had. So if I had changed the time zone, say from Eastern to Pacific, that would be one of the things that would be in the settings option. I can bring in the information that was in the syllabus or that was on the syllabus page. I can bring in all of the modules or I can decide to bring in individual modules and if I do it this way it will include all of the individual files, pages, links, um, whatever I added to an individual module, assignments, quizzes would be included. So if I picked the session 1A folder it would take in all of those items inside of the 1A um, module so the same thing I can do the assignments now with the assignments I have the option of bringing a complete assignment group so in this case this course only had one group called assignments but as you can see inside of that group there were these eight assignments in there so I can bring in the complete group or I can just bring in a single or a couple of assignments that I want to bring in uh, it does the same thing with question banks, with discussion topics, with all of the pages that I created, any tools that I integrated into the course, any announcements I made. While all of the assignments obviously create a calendar entry, if you create any manual calendar entries 
into the course. You can bring those individual ones in as well. Um, and that's particularly useful if you've gone and when you were importing the course decided to have it change, adjust the uh, dates for you. You'll see my rubrics are in there, my learning outcomes, and all of my files. Now, if you've selected something in the module, so as an example, we selected the 1A module, any of the pages or files that were in that particular module will automatically be brought in so I don't need to select those as well but in some cases I may want to bring in a file that wasn't in that particular module so say I know that this particular reading wasn't in module 1A um, but I do want to bring in that reading so that I can then put it into a different part, part of the course I can add that one in as well. And once I've gone through and selected all of the content I want, I just click Select Content, and it's going to start running here now. And in a minute, it will tell me if it's been completed and if there were any issues uh, associated with that particular import. So you can see it is now completed the uh, import and there were three issues and I can go and you'll see that they're all just missing links so it's just a matter for me to go into each of these pages or in this case an assignment individually and check the links to make sure they're working and if they aren't to just up those links. Okay that was a quick look on how we can take an export from Blackboard or from Canvas and then to select the individual pieces of that content that we would like to import into a new Canvas shell.